Dr. David. So we are going to discuss or we are going to talk about uh, talk to the NPP's beginning class. So if it is possible, if you can open the camera, please, we are going, we are happy if you are able to open the camera. Okay, so we can see face to face and see your beautiful faces. Hi. 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 Where are you now? <laughs> Thank you for joining us. So let's start. Candana and Dr. David, please, time are yours. Thank you, Siska. Thank you, dear Siska. This was amazing. A great introduction. Thank you. <laughs> Well, I'm really excited to be here tonight, and I'm so looking forward to being in Bandung, hey Ninta, with Dr. David, and we are both super excited to be facilitating the Talk to the Entities beginnings. And yeah, I mean, when you said that we'd be talking more about, you know, the Talk to the Entities beginning class, sometimes I wonder, like, where do we start? Yes. Right? Yeah. And it's always fascinating how the class changes every time. Yeah, truly. I mean, it changes and it creates so much of a, it creates such a different energy for everybody, including for me and you when we facilitate, because, you know, it's such an undefined class. It's such a, the true, for me, like when I look at the energy of magic, mysteries, miracles, power, potency, and possibilities, that is talk to the entities for me. I mean, that energy is talk to the entities beginnings. And the beauty of this class is that it comes across with such such gentleness and such nurturance and such kindness that, you know, in your world, there is no doubt of inclusion. It becomes this beautiful space of where inclusion becomes a possibility. And sometimes people don't know what is talk to the entity means. Sometimes they think that talk to the entity is like the Hollywood movie that the ghost appear in front of you and say, hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I'm just imagining like right now behind my computer, behind my laptop, a ghost coming and saying, hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> It could be. I mean, that could show up too, you know. <laughs> and most yeah. most of us is already talk to the entity because this class is not giving you is not giving you a new ability. It's only giving you a clarity of what's going on in your body. So it might be like itchy or um, migraine or moody or too many noises in your head and you don't know what it is and you conclude that oh i got migraine i need these medicines oh i got allergic i need cetirizine yeah and maybe your life beautiful with a lot of drugs <laughs> Yeah. And what if and what if that is the only sign of talking, but not in the form language, in the form of energy. And when you refuse, you will conclude with anything you can imagine and anything that you can create as a disease. Yeah, that's so brilliantly put, David. I mean, I love the way you just put it that you know. You can believing and misidentifying that a migraine, like you know, that something that, that your headache or whatever you're getting that in that moment is a migraine, instead of acknowledging or asking if it is entity awareness. Yes. You know, it's like an entity awareness can show up in any form. It can show up in the form of uh, pain in the body. It can show up in the form of in the in the form of itchiness, like David said, on the nose or somewhere. Or it can also show up as um, you know vibrations somewhere or heat, sudden heat or sudden cold or 
mood transformation where suddenly you get angry and you start to get you know cranky or you start to get sad or you're like I don't know why but I just want I just want to do I, I don't know why what's happening what's happening to me and it's like you know you think you're going through some psychological problem but you know in that moment if you just ask is this entity awareness or if is this even mine it can so easily change just yeah. goes and it opens up and space gets created and now what can you have what can you choose how much ease and it doesn't take long it doesn't take long doesn't it one week for the results is only seconds yeah truly so that. yeah and the and the beauty of talk to the entities is that there is a certain amount of kindness that you be with the entity world it's not like in the other you know a lot of times i see like you know i read about and i watch movies and i hear people tell me that you know oh they you know they have to um use fire and they have to take a broom and then they have to hit and they have to do this and they have to do, and there's so much drama involved and you know clearing entities and there's so much of force and effort but the beauty with this class is that it gives you where you actually facilitate the entity to yes. step out to step out where they are stuck in time so yes. you're really giving them choice you're like hey guys do you want to go or do you want to be stuck here either way you have choice yes and the beauty of talking to the entity janan said that what if talking to entity is the way is the way how you want to be treated when you are die when you have no longer in this body in this beautiful body and you miss your son you miss your friends you miss your your family and you just come to visit and how how you would like you to be treated mm. is it okay if they treat you with a cross in the name of jesus get out <laughs> oh, when you just come to see your children or grandchildren and they uh, read you ayat ayat kursi what is the english of ayat kursi ninta <laughs> <laughs> Is holy, exorcism. Yeah. Holy exorcism, exorcism, uh, exorcism in in Muslim, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. all of that, all of that is also also a choice. I mean, if you want to do it that way, that's fine. It's not wrong, and it's not it's not bad. But would you rather choose it easy, or would you rather choose it difficult? Yes. Would you have ease with acknowledging that yes, there is an entity world? So, so many of us don't even acknowledge that they're there while constantly believing in God, while constantly believing that there is some force outside of us. So, you know, you're like, you acknowledge that there's a force outside of you. There's, you acknowledge another energy, but you're not acknowledging that there's an entity, that, that there is an entity world. That you're not acknowledging that there's a spirit kingdom. Yes. You know, You know, we, we talk about water kingdom, animal kingdom, we talk about plant kingdom, we got to talk about all these different kingdoms, which are so included simply because they can be scientifically proven. But the spirit kingdom is not talked about because it cannot be proven. It's just something that is. And lately, scientific already proven the ghost. Lately, yeah. I see some of the video that uh, in the ICU when people die, uh, the video show up something gassy white uh, appear in the body and list. So yeah. lately in science, they also they also know something new about it and and we still explore. So what is the the soul? What is the entity? Can we see it? Can we measure it? Can we Can we have a proof of it? If we cannot see or cannot hear, it doesn't mean nothing. Yeah, it's that. Yeah, you it know, doesn't mean it me, does not exist. Yeah. And you know, I don't know if I've shared it with all of you, but for me, Talk to the Entities really totally changed my life. Because, you know, my... 
when your bodies are really aware, guys, your bodies will give you information constantly. And when you're not willing to listen to the information, when you're not willing to be aware of what's going on in your body, and you know, not listen, not willing to hear the whispers of you know people of the entities communicating with you, it can show up as uh, discomfort in your body, which you can very easily go to disease. You know, mm -hmm. and when, when you just start to acknowledge that my body is aware, it's like you you know you can't you cannot be in a space of my body is aware and I'm going to be aware of the good, but I'm not going to be aware of the bad. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of people will be like, I want to be aware, but I don't want anything to do with the entity world. You yes. know, that's so, terrible. I want to learn, talk to the entity, but I don't want the entity to show up. <laughs> yeah, that, that. <laughs> I want to talk to them, but can they not show up? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can't sterilize your awareness, guys. You just got to have it and be it and have the tools to know what to do with it. Because that's the beauty of talk to the entities, you know. It gives you the tools. Like David so beautifully said that you are aware. So it's not going to tell you how to be aware. But it's going to give you the tools. So you, now you know what to do and with the awareness that you have of the entity world. Yes. Recently, one of my class in Jogja, one of the participants doesn't know what is the talk to the entity. And when I see her skin uh, becomes red all over and got very itchy, I asked, what is your entity awareness? And she always mentioned, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So it's not coincidence that our place is near to the spooky place. So I invite them to come to the spooky place in front of the spooky house. I said, listen to your body. Because this time, your body will show you what is your entity awareness. And then all of us step up into the house and all her skin start become red and very itchy. And I said, do you understand now? Do you see it now? And, yeah. and, and she said, I still confused. Okay, so get out of the house. When she get out from the house, no itchy. The rat becomes becomes normal again. No itchy at all. It's only a second. And I said, okay, come again and let's see how your body tells you. And she come again into the house and the itchy start. And then <laughs> and then she said, Oh, all these years, I'm aware. I thought I'm allergic to dust. <laughs> exactly. That David, people think they're allergic to dust. They think they have some allergy to some pollen. Or something and you know it's so interesting because it goes in a jiffy just you acknowledging that oh this is entity awareness it's not yes. that my skin is, is coming out or it's it's breaking up in you know redness or rash or something it's entity awareness just that how brilliant thank you for that example it's 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 great and everybody different everybody different for everyone, so what, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So what if your girl is entity awareness? What if your sneeze is your entity awareness? What if your rhinitis is your entity awareness? What if your itchy is your entity awareness? What if your pain, knee pain, muscle pain, tendon pain, ankle pain, any pain, what if they are entity awareness? Yeah. And what if your anger is, an, is entity awareness? What yeah. if your what if your sadness is entity awareness? What if yeah. your the energy of where you feel helpless, hopeless, confused, unable to choose is entity awareness? Yeah. And what if the trigger of your fight with your spouse is an entity awareness? <laughs> So when you ask, what is the problem? I don't know. Who is the, the troublemaker? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Truly.
It's huge. There's so much that gets covered in the Talk to the Entities class. You know, it's the, the different types of entities that we talk about. It's how we clear them, that we give you the, we share the information, you know. So now you you really are empowered to clear them. And of course, we talk about four things, which are the main things that we do and be with the entity world. There's communication, there's clearing, there's... There is... Receiving. Receiving. And there's and cooperation. And there is nothing else that we do be that. There is there is nothing else that we we don't we don't abuse them and we don't use them against people. We don't use them to take vengeance. It's none of that. It's just this yeah. beautiful space where when you are willing to include them like you would include your dogs and your cats and your sofa and your car and your laptop and your phone, just the way you would include the animal kingdom and everything that's inanimate. When you start to include the spirit kingdom, there's a sense of inclusion that comes into your world. And when that, when you start to be that, there's way more receiving. So, you know, I've known a lot of people after I talk to the entities class would be like, oh, I got this gifted from, you know, a friend or my husband just took me on a holiday or, you know, or, you know, I had so many people sign up for a class. And it's really strange how your receiving exponentializes simply by your willingness to be the inclusion that you've been resisting to be. Yes. And what if the entity awareness is not something is forbidden, but something you do already all the time? Because you pray, it means you talk. Pray to who? You pray to entity. So you talk to the entity, but you don't want to hear the talking. So is it a talk? That's why that's why when you pray, you never heard the answer. It's not God is lame or universe is lame, but you just don't want to hear it. And what if when you are talking and when you are aware of the entity, you understand more and you perceive more the abundance of the universe. Truly. Truly. I mean, it's so huge and it's so big and it's so vast. It's so vast. It's so vast. If you just tap into the entity world for a moment and you start to recognize how vast it is, you start to recognize how vast receiving is. You start to acknowledge that wow, this this expansiveness, this you know, this space that now you are being when you're being that awareness and you're being that inclusion is the space that facilitates you into receiving. Yes, because otherwise you're that contracted, and you're that you know you stay away. You kind of separate. You kind of create a judgment around, and you be that space of I don't want to receive from this, and I don't want to go there. And you know you create yes. these walls and barriers, and now all the walls and barriers kind of just so now there's just a space, and you're like, wow, what can I receive? What yes. can I gift? And what contribution can I be? Like, you know, if we were to, what I really, what I, you know, something that really changed for me is that an entity, if you look it up in the dictionary, it's an energy that can be defined. So having said that, you know, every energy that is defined is an entity, including yeah. you. You define yourself, including your, your business, including your house, including your marriage, including your kids. You know, if you some there are those that are embodied, and then there are those that are disembodied. But they are all entities. So if you're not willing to talk to entities, are you going to receive from all of this? Yes. Or are you going to be struggling, struggling with being heard, struggling with being received, struggling with, you know, with just wanting to show and everything that brought up can be destroyed and uncreated. <laughs> right from the bad one for all nine shots was puppets and beyonds and if anyone is new but i don't see any new persons that is the clearing statement is there any new person not not learning access bars before i don't think so 
Mm. Yeah. Maybe. All these access bars. The brave ones. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. So does anyone the have funny, the, the funny thing is that in my experience with entity and people that love the entity but hate the entity at the same time, it was uh, a client that asked to me, she always get problem with the entity is a ghost, she said, after her praying. So when I asked what happened, and she said, every time after I pray, I sense the presence of ghost. So <laughs> she become afraid, and she pray another prayer to exorcise the ghost. And I just <laughs> look at her and say, hey, you asking Jesus to come, and he come, and you ask him to get out? Are you nuts? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's that fear, right? It people oh, make yeah. fear. Like... No, and the energy like come and she afraid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that> beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much of confusion with the end, right? Whatever you don't have total clarity with, you know, leads to this kind of confusion of. Of I want it, but I'm scared. I want it, but I don't know because you know there's there's been there's so much of wrong information that floats around around the spirit kingdom. There is really no clarity. There is really no one who tells you that hey, you you don't need to fear them. Everyone tells you be scared, be aware. You know, don't don't do that. Don't do that. Be paranoid. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, that... Uh, there is a question, Sandana. Like from that. Arif in chat. Yes. Okay. Is money an entity? Is money an entity? If so, how to invite them into our life? That is the first question. Okay, that's a great question. Money is an energy. Money is an energy. You are an energy. What separates you from money is your points of view. Money yeah. doesn't have points of views of you. So if you really have no point of view of money, money will show up in your world. But yes. when you define, you limit it. When you yes. define money, you separate from it. Because every definition is made, is created by points of views. Yeah. Every definition is meant to be limited something, limited something, limiting something. Did that, give, did that give you clarity, Arif, with your question? You can raise your hand if you want to ask more questions about money, Arif. Kalau mau them? ngobrol bahasa you Indonesia you juga boleh dan minta. You know how you invite money into your life? You just invite it. You be like, money come, 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 money come. That's it. <laughs> what is the next question Aris when we ask who does this belong to could it belong to the entities yeah is this mine is this someone else's is this something else's when it's something else you can always ask is this the earth asking for a contribution or is this an entity yeah go with what's light question next question hope that answer aris okay next question is what is the difference between entity's voice and our own imaginations is, is uh, dr Delphi, do you want to answer hmm. in the most of my experience entity voice always mention me as a third voice at uh, the third person so it's never it never mentioned me but it always mentioned you or calling my name it's never mentioned me or i am so i just know that oh it's something else it's an entity voice and 
our imagination is, is totally different because you can direct it and you can change it. It doesn't show up as a new thoughts that pops up. It's different. A little bit different. Yeah. And Lena, do you want to add something? That's great. Just, just that, yeah. I mean, when it's an entity's voice, it'll always say you. When it's yeah. some, when it's your awareness. It's always light. When it's an entity, entity's voice, they you'll they'll, they'll generally tell you what to do. You know, it's like it's a different energy, and you will know. You will know, and you can always ask: Is this an entity or is this mine? You know, be in the question. Questions will empower you. Keep asking questions. Uh, do you remember when you want to eat something or when you want to create a something and your mind create imaginations where to eat, what to eat, what kind of food, that is the imaginations. You can create, you are the, the writer and you are the, the sutradhara, the, what is sutradhara, Ninta? <laughs> Director. <laughs> Nah, the director. Director. And, That's and yeah, but but when you when you listen from the entity, it just pop up before you think. It before one second. You cannot direct it. It just pop up. And it pops up with an intensity. Yeah. And then, guys, I just want to I just want to say here somewhere I'm sensing that maybe you think imagination is awareness. Imagination is not awareness. Mm -hmm. Imagination always come from a past experience imagination will always come from a reason and a justification and from a what is possible from the mind but awareness is always something that's light always something that will just pop in your world it could be in the form of a word it could be in the form of a sentence it could be form of you know a smell or um, just just a knowing it's a whisper and it's gone you know yeah. you can't to an awareness but you can hold on to an imagination you can think into imagination but you cannot think into awareness yeah because awareness is just pop up before your mind starts thinking yeah that's why gary said listen to the first second Thank you so much. Is there anyone who wants to ask more questions? It can be in Bahasa because we have Ninta to translate. Just raise your hand and then you can start to talk. Anyone? Kasanti, maybe? Any questions? No? Okay. So I will ask questions. Please okay. go for it. <laughs> so some uh, something pop up in my universe. How about entities and business? So I think some of them wants to know uh, can I, what is that? Uh, make my business grow by, uh, joining this class. <laughs> I mean, how to talk uh, with my business so it can grow faster or grow grow bigger. Thank you. So you're you're receiving expands when you're receiving expands. Every area of your life is impacted by that. So if you're looking at your business, yes, your business does grow. We don't get to direct the growth, but it changes. Something shifts, something changes because it's like, you know, you may have created a relationship with your business that's that's become kind of uh, a controlling relationship. So when you start to get present with what's really going on in your world, that may not even have been yours to begin with. When you give that up and you start to get aware that, oh, this is not even mine. You know, what changes in your business? It could change something in your business because what you were at the effect of before, you are no more effect of that. So do things change? Yes. Can we define the change and can we direct the change and can we promise the change where it will show up? No. Because this is true Truly the space of magic, mysteries, miracles, power, potency, and possibilities. 
Oh, thank you. So basically, when we choose to be to to be aware or willing to receive the entities, all the aspects of our life change. Yes, absolutely. And all the universe support you. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Uh, one question on the chat box from Andira. Can entities sabotage someone's life or cash? <laughs> can anyone do anything to you, darling? <laughs> Andira, maybe you can open your mic <laughs> and start to talk. But can sometimes anyone... it's so pleasure to blame on the entity because they cannot fight. They're going to say, hey, not me, you, not me. <laughs> it's so much fun to blame on entity. When you oh, refuse yeah. to receive on yourself and when you refuse to see yourself, it's very fun to blame on entity. Yeah. But you is the problem. No one can do anything to you, darling, unless you choose it. Yes. And it's not, not that you're wrong. It's not that somebody's wrong. And when I say you, I'm not specifically saying you, but I mean, if someone is choosing to be a defective entities, it's not that they're wrong. It's probably that they don't have the awareness that they can choose something different. Yes. I'm not aware of that. So this class gives you the awareness of, hey guys, you can choose something different. If you've been at the of entities, you can change that now. Yes. And it's the only choice. Every time you pray, God, help me. But you're never receiving help. You don't want to receive any help. If anybody, anybody comes to help and you just, oh, he wants to do something with me. I think he wants to have flirting me you're just judging every time but god sent a lot of things to you that's why when we talk to the entity we see more because we practice no point of view we listen more we perceive more and we practice receiving more even receiving from something that you cannot see you cannot hear but you just know it's something coming. Yep. So on that note, how <laughs> we go for tonight, I love this conversation and I know that we can go on and on and on. <laughs> that really, I really truly yeah. wonder, Dave, what is possible with this creation? And I really wonder what are the infinite possibilities with the spirit kingdom? And if, and if you are willing to receive it and you are willing to create with it instead of yeah. against what can change in your worlds. And the talk to the entity has 12 speciality. It's so fun, but you cannot practice them and you cannot explore that 12 uh, speciality without learning the beginning first. It's a beautiful house clearing. It's a beautiful creations with entity. It's a beautiful relationship with entity. It's a beautiful birth and death. It's a child and entity. It's a lot of beautiful topic. It's so much fun. We can explore. But the beginning is the first opening for you to let go all the lies and see what is possible and choice in your futures. This is a truly beautiful class, in my opinion, my interesting point of view. Okay, so another question from the chat box. Can we use entities to help us connect with other people that has been missing or no contact? Well, it's better you experience rather than we create a story, yes or no. Go for the class and let's see what we create. Because beautiful things only happen in the class. And if I just tell you experience in my experience when my grandpa coming or 
the class, uh, the 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 ancestor coming, is only stories, and you only listen to many stories about the entities. But the experience of the entities and the experience of communications with them, it will open something that this is available to you to choose, and everybody can do it. It's not only the gifted. It's not only for the gifted. Everybody can do it. Okay? So true. Yep. So it's like you have awareness. Each one of you have awareness. Each one of you. Even if you don't believe it. But each one of you have awareness. You know what the, what the Talk to the Entities class will do for you is it will give you the tools so now you know what to do and be with the awareness instead yes. of being the effect of your awareness. Yes. Imagine if you are in the Flintstone age and then your iPhone ring and you just, oh, something ringing. What is that? What is it? Why? Why it's so loud? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our systems, our brain, our body is so advanced. But you, as a driver, do you know your functions? Do you aware that you have those facilities, those systems, those awareness? And do you know how to do it? How to use it? How to Use it for your advantage. How to use this ability to create your life, to change your life. And it's so beautiful. You have all. You just learn to, ah, this is this. This is perceiving. So I can use it for this. We learn the clarity in the class. We learn how to use our body much more bigger. Okay, wow, that's beautiful, Doc. Thank you so much. So uh, I think that's, is there any more questions to us? I want more questions and then I think we can stop. Yeah. Any more questions? Uh, I don't think so. There is no questions on the chat box. <laughs> <laughs> One is entities, right? Uh, I think it's from Andira. Is, okay. is there a question? Andira, can you please raise your hand if you want to elaborate more about your questions? Oh, no. Well, phone is, phone is entities. Uh, where itu waktu yang nanya, gimana caranya kontak sama entities? Terus uh -huh. saya bilang, oh, bisa lewat telepon. Telepon kan entities juga. Hmm? Hmm? Enggak, yang tadi kan Can we use entities to help us connect with other people Terus saya respon Oh with phone, phone is entities right Is it work for you? No, this, uh, I just respon uh, The last question Oh Because phone <laughs> Android is entities But phone is not The oh. brand is entities What's the difference? Phone is a uh, things and Android is entities because Android is have identity. When when I mention Android, do you know what I mean? Size system. Yeah. So you know this energy and you know what is the definitions of this energy. When you mention also the phone, the phone, phone is also the entities because when I mention the phone, you know what is the phone. But the it's real body. phone, the real phone is your body. Do you know how to use your body? Oh, I get, I get, I get. Okay. Okay. So uh, I think we are going to stop this uh, as announcement that we are going to have um, 
talk to the entities beginning class with Chandana and also Dr. David this coming June on the 30th. And the 1st and the 2nd of July, it's it's going to be in Bandung. And yes, Sanctuary Little Forest. Yes, okay. So I think we need uh, the closing. Chandana and Dr. David, please. We have, and we do have translation by Ninta. So if yeah. any of you like to have the class translated, that is available too. And I really am looking forward to Bandung. This is going to be my first trip to Bandung. And I've been tapping into the nature spirits while here in India. And it's just so melting, it's so contributing that my body is actually feeling so nurtured that it almost feels intense. So I really am looking forward and I'm wondering what else is possible with this intensity, with this nurturance, with this caring that's available because the earth is also an entity. Yes. It's possible with the land. What is possible with the convergence of, you know, the, the energies of David and me? What is possible with the convergence, the possibilities of creations that you are all aware of. Yes. Okay, Dr. David, the closing. It's beautifully said with Chandana. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. So um, uh, I remember when Dr. David said this class is uh what is it beyond. So uh it's not only learning about, about uh, yeah, but that all talk to the entities, but also about ourselves about yes. us, and beyond. It's really beyond. So and yeah. and for me, especially for me in my experience, I became closer to God. Yes. For yes. for my experience. Yes. So ah. I just I just wonder what if your experience after the class? Because before I thought praying need an incense, praying need a place praying need a form need the opening uh body language or something but after that i just realized that no prayers doesn't need everything prayers is a talk and when we talk before i never listen i just talk but after this class i just realized oh my god Every time I talk, the answer is right there in that second, and I never listen. That's why I so love in this class because it helps me a lot. It helps me a lot. And then I maybe want to share my experience before I jo I joined this class. I had a uh, cold a lot. I mean, I get cold a lot. Yes. Take a lot. And then I got so much pill daily. And then when I choose this class, now it's all gone. I'm willing. And Koyo, Koyo, what is Koyo? I'm uh, the master of. <laughs> Chandana no Koyo. Oh, I know. I get the energy. <laughs> the hot plaster for cold. <laughs> it's a patch. Like the patch, yeah. Hot patch, yeah. When you're sick, you you put a hot patch everywhere. <laughs> I lived like that for 19 years, thinking I had fibromyalgia, believing that I had fibromyalgia, without acknowledging that it's 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 entity awareness. Yeah. It's awareness that my body has, which is so intense that with me not being willing to know, be perceive, and receive it. It was creating the unease in my body. And by just acknowledging and asking, is this entities and do they want me to know something? It changed. I mean, 19 years of medication, injections and all of that. And it changed. Everything changed in six months. So yes. that's the magic of, you know, body awareness in my and way, talk to the entity <laughs> totally totally because when you are aware you are aware of everything guys you're aware of everything including the entity world yeah and if you got a sign 
migraine every full moon, migraine body pain every Mars retrograde, migraine body pain muscle ache every time the signal of this human resonance. So what if the Earth and the entity, everyone calling you, will you listen now? Or oh, you want to continue play drama? Oh, migraine. The moon is full moon. It's normal for me to migraine. It's okay. <laughs> Oh, the insomnia, Sometimes it also can be a signal. Yeah, it's a signal. It's a signal calling. I got all the time before. And I thought it's normal to have pain. <laughs> <laughs> so how Sounds so funny now, right, David? Sounds so funny when we say it's normal to have pain. We thought it was normal. Ah, wow, that was a stupid choice. Yeah, because long time ago, I don't have any friend of from access. I, I don't know this knowledge. So I asked everyone who have gifted and they also pain when the full moon. I thought, oh, it's just normal to have pain. <laughs> <laughs> That's Thank you so Is much, Dr. Kathy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Yeah. And then... That's it, love. As if you guys want to be free, come. Okay. Thank you so much, Dr. David. Thank you so much, Chandana yeah. and Minta. So if this class is calling you, if this one is the answers of your potency and also something that you are going to, what is that? Uh, willing to receive, please contact Minta or me for more information. Thank you so or much. Or Elda. All, yeah, Elda. Elda is coming. Yes, Elda. And also Santi. Yes, you can contact one of us. Thank you so much for coming and then see you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.